Hi friends, it's Elina. I'm a holistic health coach, yoga teacher and Pilates instructor. In this video I will discuss the importance of exercise for our overall health and well-being and I will also share how we spend a few days in Prague. In my previous video I discussed the importance of the quantity and quality of protein for our overall health. It is well known that protein intake impacts our body composition including our muscle health. We started our trip to Prague from Helsinki airport. I hadn't visited Czechia before but Prague has been at the top of my list for a while because of its fascinating history. So this was during a late November and early December and at this time of the year the weather can be a little bit unpredictable in Prague. We decided to stay at the Julius Prague Hotel. The hotel is in a central location, meaning that all the major attractions are within a walking distance. Our room was very spacious and clean, and the service was very friendly. There is even a gym at the hotel. The breakfast buffet was amazing with options for even those following vegetarian, vegan or gluten-free diets. But when it comes to promoting our health span, exercise is the most powerful lifestyle intervention against chronic diseases and the best tool to keep us functionally young. Even studies show that those who exercise regularly live as much as a decade longer than sedentary people. The more aerobically fit we are, the easier our daily activities will be, whether it's carrying groceries, working in the garden, or climbing stairs. So we all know that exercise is great for physical health. It builds muscles, keeps our bones strong, and it's wonderful for our cardiovascular health. But exercise can also ease the symptoms of mental health issues like stress and depression by releasing feel-good chemicals like dopamine and serotonin. We all know how amazing we can feel after a great workout session. Especially more holistic methods like yoga, where physical practice is combined with deep breathing, have many mental health benefits like reduced anxiety and depression. During the first day in Prague it was snowing, so it was the perfect time to visit museums. I went to the official Mucha Museum. Alphonse Mucha was a Czech Art Nouveau artist, an internationally known illustrator and graphic artist. The museum itself is small but worth visiting if you want to learn more about this interesting artist. Despite the snow, I think this was a beautiful time of the year to visit Prague and see all the Christmas decorations. I have always been interested in history, so I wanted to see the Museum of Communism. I want to highlight that this is a serious museum about a serious topic, so it can make someone feel uncomfortable or even unwell. In this museum, the historical facts are well laid out in a chronological way, so it is easy to follow. The information is both in Czech and in English. And this is something I find super interesting. In this study, it was found out that not exercising would be worse for our health than smoking. The same study also concluded that extreme aerobic fitness is associated with the greatest survival with no upper limit of benefit. Like nutrition, exercise can be a little bit confusing field, but ideally you would combine three different types of exercise, cardio, strength and mobility training. Aerobic or cardio training is basically anything that gets your heart, lungs and large muscle groups work harder. So this could be things like running, cycling, swimming or brisk walking. Personally, I love walking because it can also calm my mind, especially when I do it in nature. Uh, walking is also a relatively safe option, especially if you have any joint issues or injuries. But as with everything, it's important to find those activities that you like to do and that also serve your goals. And then you want to do some form of strength or resistance training 
to build muscle tone and to keep your bones strong. Resistance training is anything that makes your muscles work harder against a weight or force, like lifting weights, using resistance bands, or having your own body weight working against gravity. So you don't necessarily need a gym membership or hire a personal trainer to get started. There are so many amazing ways to get stronger, but you want to pay attention to proper form and alignment to decrease your risk to injury. So you could start by holding planks and doing push-ups and then later add weights, pull-up bars, resistance bands and start carrying a heavier backpack. On the first day, we randomly found Sensa Fine Food Bistro. The food was really delicious, Asian fusion and served in a relaxed environment. I ordered avocado salad and as a main, I had grilled tofu and a red curry with rice. Overall, there are a lot of great restaurants in Prague with lots of vegetarian, vegan and gluten-free options. Another great restaurant that I liked is Maitreya, a vegetarian restaurant in the old town. We even found a cute Sicily cafe next to a hotel where you could pay with Bitcoin. The payment process itself was very simple. You just scan the QR code with your Gergo app and pay with your chosen Bitcoin Lightning wallet. Finally, I think it's super important to do mobility training so that we can stay flexible and agile. Yoga and Pilates, as well as different types of functional training where you move with your breath are great. For instance, Pilates works the body in all planes of movement and we focus on natural deep breathing. And when we flow with control through a sequence of exercises, we can better connect to our bodies and minds and generate more stable and safe movement. And all those small yet very effective movements tone and strengthen the body the right way. The National Museum is a massive museum complex. Just the main building and the new building are so huge that you could spend days there. I think it's good to decide in advance which exhibitions you want to see. For instance, I wanted to focus on the history of this country. And then there is the old town that you must visit when you are in Prague. At the old town square, there's also the central gallery. The central gallery shows the art of three famous modern artists, Salvador Dali, Alphonse Mucha and Andy Warhol. Unfortunately, this gallery does not show much original art, it's more reproduction. I am not sure how I'm supposed to pronounce the name, but Baritska Street is the most luxurious and fashionable street in Prague. Finally, I want to share my tips how you can get started. If you are new to exercise, just start. Almost any exercise is better than doing nothing at all. Choose something simple that you can stick with. For instance, start uh, with walking for 20 minutes daily. The other helpful thing is to write down your goals and add reminders because creating new habits requires effort and commitment. And since we have so many things going on in our lives, it's very easy to forget without reminders. So choose specific times during the week when you train and find someone who can hold you accountable. And once you have built your routine, it's important to check in with yourself regularly so that you keep on progressing and don't hit a plateau. So it's always important to feel a little bit challenged and uncomfortable because that's where the growth happens. I also went to the world of Banksy, which shows the artwork of the mysterious graffiti artist. However, this exhibition does not show original art by Banksy. But if you're interested in the artist and his political voice, you may want to see this because there is lots of information about his artwork and it's entertaining.
The earlier in life we start taking care of our bodies, the better, but it's never too late to make a positive change. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to subscribe. Have a beautiful day and I will see you next time.